Namaste. This clipping is about the gross domestic product at factor cost, gross domestic product at basic price and gross domestic product at market price. You are very well aware of the two terms, the GDP FC and GDP MP. So what is this term GDP BP? I have not discussed this concept in my previous clippings. So this concept of the GDP at basic price has been introduced into the CBSE curriculum since last year. Of course, it was not tested in the board examination 2019-2020, but then it is very much part of the curriculum. So let's just discuss this particular aggregate, the gross domestic product at basic price. So GDP FC plus the NIT, it gives GDP MP, that factor you are already aware of. So basic price, GDP at basic price is nothing but the GDP FC plus the net production taxes. So what is this term net production taxes? It gives you the difference between production taxes and that of the production subsidy. So what is this production tax? The very word tells you it is a tax on the production of products levied on the firm. So this tax is very much a lump sum tax and it is not based on the volume of production. It's a lump sum tax and it is independent of the volume of production. For example, firms to start up with their production or for expansion, they require to buy land. So, the land revenue that is collected by the government, the stamp fee, the registration fee that is collected by the government. So, these can be termed as the net production taxes. So, firms, they end up paying production taxes in the form of land revenue, stamp fee, registration fee. These are lump sum taxes paid by the firms. And similar such subsidies that are going to be enjoyed by the firms in the form of the lump sum monetary support offered by the government, they are called as the production subsidies. So, the basic difference between the production taxes and the production subsidy is what is the net production taxes. So, GDP FC plus net production taxes gives the term GDP at the basic price or the gross domestic product at the basic price. Now, over and above this, there is going to be the net product tax concept. So, net product tax, again as a very word tells you, it is levied on the products and services. So, it is based on the per unit of output. It is levied on the products and the services. So, thereby the volume of the output, it matters. So, as the volume of the output increases, this may increase. It is not a lump sum tax like that of the production tax. So, product tax, it is based on the volume of output and it is not a lump sum tax. It is levied on the output that is produced by the firms. Similarly, you have the product subsidy. The product subsidy is offered as a monetary support by the government to the firms to continue on to produce socially useful products. So very common examples of net product taxes. No, uh, let me be clear. Common examples of product taxes are excise tax, sales tax, entertainment tax or more commonly your GST recently. So these indirect taxes on the products, they become product taxes. Of course, the difference between the product tax and the product subsidy is what is the net product taxes. So the gross domestic product at the basic price plus the net product taxes will give you the GDP at MP 
or the gross domestic product at market price so that is the latest concept I hope you understood the two concepts of production tax and product tax thank you